Hi everybody, I'm going to share with you today something that no one has probably told you about how or why you get athlete's foot or itchy feet or toenail fungus or any of those issues. And you'll be surprised to know that you can fix this for free. Now I'm sure you heard that uh, athlete's foot and things like this are spreadable and you get it from walking on contaminated areas or um, you got it from somebody else wearing dirty shoes etc. I do not believe this is the case. Let's get into the reason why. Now your skin has on it already fungus and bacterias and things that are naturally there and when they get out of balance then these kind of things start happening. Now what makes them get out of balance? Well, this doesn't happen for everyone. You know, uh, some people are more prone to different things, right? So the people who get athlete's foot and those nail fungus and things like that, it's not happened to everyone because everyone is not the same. Some of us have more sensitive skin. Some of us have more sensitive teeth. Some of us have more sensitive stomach issues. You know, everyone has their own body type that's sensitive to different things and more likely to get it. For those of you who are blessed with this issue, there's an easy solution, don't worry. Now what you eat is very important and probably gonna shock you <laughs> at why we have this athlete foot problem. Now when you have a diet that is balanced without processed sugar, you will not get athlete's foot. So the main thing, the secret that nobody really tells you about because they tell you to put on certain creams and lotions and soak your foot like this and that and that'll fix it and it really is only solving the symptom but not really addressing the cause. So the cause is one, you already have sensitive skin so you need to watch it. Two, you're eating too much sugar and trans fats. So eliminate processed sugar from your diet. You'll be amazed how quickly this works. Now I'm not talking just a little bit of sugar. Don't put sugar in your coffee. I'm talking all sugar. So no cakes and cookies, donuts, breads. Just eliminate sugar from your diet. Depending on how sensitive you are, you can go totally eliminating all sugar sources, even all the way down to fruit. But if your body is not that sensitive, you might be able to get away with less. So you can try less. You can start with just not adding sugar like to your um, teas and not having sweets like cakes and candies, cookies and baked goods and things like this. Just stay away from sweets and extra sugar added. Don't have soft drinks or any drinks with sugar. Just start with this and do this for a month. You can also, while you're doing this, apply whatever lotions and creams you want. But uh, the main thing is just no sugar. So do it for a month, no sugar. And if you do not see complete results in a month, then eliminate more sugar. Take out also fruits and any sugars that you might see in foods that are more hidden sources of sugar. Just eliminate those. And also if you want, you could try to eliminate trans fats, which means don't eat processed food basically. So I know that's hard, but try not to eat anything that's in a package or frozen or from a fast food or been fried. <laughs> These are the reason that you are still having athlete's foot, itchy feet, no toenail fungus. It is what you eat. Our body is affected greatly by what we put in it. So we need to really try and watch that. If you really, really want to get rid of this and you've tried all these other lotions and potions and nothing's working, this is probably why. So just start trying this. It will work. It will work and I want you to leave me a comment down below after you've done this for a month or two and let me know how well it worked for you. You can watch my video on not eating sugar and also my video on 
the dangers of trans fats and I'll leave the link for both of those in the description box below if you want to have more details of how those work for your body. But sugar is the main cause because it is a main effect to our skin and if you have too much sugar it, it throws out of balance the bacteria on our skin and this leads to overgrowth of fungus and bacteria and problems on our skin. That's how we get acne too much. That's how we get these toenail fungus and things. That's how you get all these skin issues. So it's mostly because of overgrowth of the bacteria that's already on your skin due to you eating too much processed sugar and processed food. I'm really excited for you to try this and leave me a comment down below how well it worked for you. I really want to hear it. Please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.